Long before Europe turned its sails to the wind, Muslims had already harnessed its power. In the deserts of 9th century Persia, Muslim engineers of Sistan faced a problem. How could they grind grain and pump water in a land where rivers were scarce and animals were too costly to rely on? Their solution? The world's first windmills? Unlike the tall wooden windmills that Europe would later build, these were vertical axes windmills, a completely different design. With sails made of reed and cloth, they rotated in a circular motion, powered directly by the desert winds. They were used to grind wheat into flour, crush seeds for oil, and pump water for irrigation, making life possible in some of the harshest lands on earth. For centuries, these windmills turned silently across the Muslim world from Persia to Afghanistan. Marco Polo described them in his travels in the 13th century. It wasn't until 500 years later that Europe began adopting windmill technology, long after Muslims had already perfected it. And even today, modern wind turbines owe something to this forgotten Islamic innovation. From the sands of Persia to the skylines of today, the power of the wind was first captured by Muslim ingenuity. For more Islamic history, follow 2-Minute Islamic History.